literally this is what you do. <laughs> it's laid on top of, of, the, um, of the stove and it'll start to blister. And once you've done it, um, you can put it into a plastic bag or a brown paper bag. You know, you can use the, the, the uh, pa brown paper bag from, the, from when you've gone to the store. And as this blisters, just like if you burn your hand, it's, you know, which I did the other day, of course, right? Um, it, it'll blister up and that's, and that's when, uh, but you need to put it in, in, a, in a bag for it to come up. Now you can see, the, uh, it's kind of just charred all over. Didn't take long, it took about five minutes. Now I'm just going to turn this off. And I've got a, just a plastic bag here. I'm just going to put this in. And I'm just going to leave it um, and when I'm ready for it I'll just rub the skin off we can do that okay so we have this is the uh, pepper that we roasted now you can see how actually I'm just going to get something here okay There we go, all that charred skin is just rubbing off. We'd be lucky if we get all of it off, but we'll get most of it off. Roasty, toasty flavor. Now the other thing too is with these, is because they are slightly cooked, these are the kinds of things that you can put olive oil on top. Um, to, and you can get, these will keep in a jar for quite a while. And this is the kind of Antipasto. When you get when you're in an Italian restaurant, you get those soft peppers. That's what these are, right? Okay. So obviously, it's a little bit of a messy deal, but the results are worth it. What you can do now is just open it out, and you'll see that inside. full of juice. Which is all from the roasting. And it's all much it's softer and this is one of the my favorite things in the summer to eat cold. With just a little bit of mint or basil and olive oil. So Okay, oops, we've got a few bits on there. This has a wonderful smoky flavor. It's easier to digest and it's pretty good. I was going to show you something quickly. Let's put some oil on them. little bit of basil and then just let them sit in the fridge and that I've got to tell you is delicious. <laughs>